Pratherham United Football Club, nicknamed the Millers, is an English professional football club based in Ratherham, South Yorkshire, that competes in the Football League Championship, the second tier in the English Football League system. Founded in 1925 as a merger between Ratherham Town and Ratherham County, the club's colours have traditionally been red and white, although these have evolved through history. Ratherham United play their home games at New York Stadium, having played since its foundation at Milmu. History The club's roots go back to 1870, when the club was formed as Thornhill Football Club. George Cook was the trainer around this time. For many years the leading team in the area was Ratherham Town FC, who spent three seasons in the Football League while Thornhill United were still playing in the Sheffield and Hallamshire League. By the turn of the century, however, Ratherham Town had resigned from the Football League and gone out of business. A new club of the same name later joined the Midland League. Meanwhile, Thornhill's fortunes were on the rise to the extent that in 1905 they laid claim to being the preeminent club in the town and changed their name to Ratherham County. For a period both clubs competed in the Midland League, finishing first and second in 1911 a Euro 12. Over time it became clear that to have two professional clubs in the town was not sustainable. Talks had begun in February 1925 and in early May the two clubs merged to form Ratherham United. Days later the reformed club was formally re-elected under its new name. The red and white was adopted around 1928 after playing in amber and black, but there was no improvement in the club's fortunes, in 1931 they again had to apply for re-election. Immediately after the Second World War things looked up. United finished as runners-up three time in succession between 1947 and 1949 and then were champions of Division III in 1951. Ratherham reached their highest ever league position of third in the Football League Second Division in 1955, when only goal average denied them a place in the top flight after they finished level on points with champions Birmingham City and runners-up Luton Town. The club held on to its place in Division II until 1968 and then went into a decline that took them down to Division IV in 1973. In 1975 they were promoted back to the 3rd Division finishing in the 3rd promotion spot in the 4th Division. The Millers won the Division III title in 1981. Ratherham had a dismal first half of the 1981 Euro 82 season but a surge after the turn of 1982 saw them emerge as promotion contenders for the first time in nearly 30 years. This season saw the Millers beat Chelsea 6 a Euro 0 at home and 4 a Euro 1 away at Stamford Bridge and is considered by many to be Ratherham's retest all-time league double. This was the first season of three points for a win rather than two in the league, and in the end they missed out on promotion by four points and finishing seventh. They have not finished this high ever since. During the 1990s Ratherham were promoted and relegated between the Football League's lowest two divisions and they slipped into the fourth division in 1991, just two years after being promoted, but reclaimed their status in the third tier by finished third in the fourth division in 1992. They survived at this level for five years, never looking like promotion contenders, before being relegated in 1997. In 1996 Ratherham United made their first trip to Wembley, beating Shrewsbury to a Euro 1 to win the Football League trophy, with two goals from Nigel Jempson giving Ratherham the win, with over 20,000 Ratherham United fans following them. In 1997, just after relegation to Division 3, Ronnie Moore took charge of Ratherham United. His first season ended in a mid-table finish and then his second in a playoff semi-final defeat on penalties to Leighton Orient. It was third time lucky in 1999 a Euro 2000 as Ratherham finished as Division 3 runners-up and gained promotion to Division 2. They were favourites to be relegated in 2000 a Euro 01 season, but surprised many by finishing runners-up in Division 2 and gaining a second successive promotion. Famously, the Millers beat Brentford to a Euro 1 at a sold-out Milmu Stadium, with Alan Lee scoring the winner, sealing promotion. During this successful campaign, Ratherham also beat Premiership side Southampton in the FA Cup. Ratherham managed to remain in Division 1 for four seasons, the most successful of which was the 2002 Euro 03 campaign their second season. 
the Millers were in contention for a playoff place, but dropped off near the season's end to finish 15th, their lowest position all season. During their time in the championship they managed some notable victories including two wins against Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough and a home win against West Ham United. The third season saw them finishing 17th with the highlight of the season a 1-1 draw with Arsenal in the League Cup at Highbury. During the 2004-05 season, the club struggled and spent most of the season bottom of the league. After relegation to League One in 2005, Mick Harford took over as Miller's manager, but was sacked after a run of 17 games without a win. Harford was replaced by youth team coach, Alan Kneel. Early in 2006 it was announced that the club faced an uncertain future unless a funding gap in the region of a £140,000 per month could be plugged. An 11th hour intervention by a consortium of local businessmen kept them in business. The final match of the 2005 Euro 06 season, home to MK Dons, was a winner take all relegation showdown where a scoreless draw kept Rotherham up. Rotherham United began their second successive year in League One with a 10 point deficit as a result of the CVA, which saved the club from liquidation. The club initially pulled the points back, but, after losing key playmaker Lee Williamson and star striker Will Hoskins in the January transfer window, the Millers sat 13 points adrift of safety, making the threat of relegation inevitable. This resulted in Knill being sacked on March 1, with Mark Robbins becoming caretaker manager. Robbins's position was made permanent on April 6, 2007, but he was not able to save Rotherham from relegation. The Millers spent the majority of the 2007 Euro 08 season in the automatic promotion places but in mid-March 2008 it was revealed that Rotherham had again entered administration and would be deducted 10 points. Local businessman Tony Stewart then took over as chairman for the 2008 Euro 09 season and took the club out of administration via a creditor's voluntary agreement, resulting in a 17-point deduction. The Millers were subsequently forced to leave Milmu, their home of over 100 years, for the Don Valley Stadium in Sheffield, after disputes with the landlords. The Millers had a successful season under the new regime, wiping out the point deficit and being in contention for a playoff place. Rotherham were also involved in two cup runs, reaching the Football League Trophy Northern Final and the League Cup last 16. This included victories over higher league opposition in the form of Wolverhampton Wanderers, Southampton, Sheffield Wednesday, Leicester City and Leeds United. Mark Robbins kept the majority of the team together from the 2008 Euro 09 campaign, whilst bolstering his squad with high-caliber signings in the form of Nicky Law, and the prolific goal-scorer, Adam LaFonda. The 2009 Euro 10 season started well until Mark Robbins controversially departed to rivals Barnsley in September. Robbins left the Millers at the top of the league. Ex-manager Ronnie Moore was reappointed on Friday 25 September 2009. Jimmy Mullen later being confirmed as his assistant. Ronnie led the club to their first ever playoff final and first trip to the new Wembley Stadium. Despite the occasion, this game ended in a disappointing 3 Euro 2 loss. On March 22, 2011, following poor form and a run of five games without a win, Moore and his assistant Jimmy Mullen left Rotherham by mutual consent, with Andy Liddell placed in temporary charge. Liddell's first game in temporary charge of the club was a superb 6 0 0 victory at eventually relegated Lincoln City. Despite chairman, Tony Stewart stating that Liddell would be in charge for the remainder of the season, he moved to appoint Andy Scott as the new club manager, following several disappointing results. During the close season, Andy Scott released 13 of the Millers' squad, surprisingly including key members of the team. Scott announced that there would be several marquee signings to improve the quality of the team, and brought in several players from divisions higher, including Schofield, Reigns, Pringle and Graben. After an impressive start to the season, results steadily declined. Andy Scott was subsequently sacked on March 19, 2012 after a defeat to Oxford left the Millers with all but a very slim chance of reaching the playoffs. Chairman Tony Stewart had over 40 applicants for the manager's vacancy, including former Premier League and Championship managers, but appointed Steve Evans on April 9, 2012. 
Despite winning five of their last nine games since the Andy Scott's dismissal, Pratherham still finished five points outside the playoffs. The 2012 Euro 13 season signalled a new era for Ratherham United as the club returned to playing home matches in Ratherham, at the newly built New York Stadium. With the team looking the strongest it had done for years, the two factors seemed appropriate to add up and result in promotion. But it wasn't that straightforward. Despite demolishing Burton Albion on August 18, 2012 on the opening day, and a 4 Euro 0 victory over Bradford City, the forthcoming months only saw inconsistent form. There were big defeats, and scalp claiming cup victories along the way, but with the club's main goal of promotion seemingly slipping away from its grasp, some fans called for the sacking of Steve Evans. But all was not lost, results began picking up and teams were falling, including more local derby victories. As the team gradually increased their position in the league, only a record breaking five games in a row winning streak and other results going their way, would see Ratherham promoted. Against all the odds, the Millers became the first team in that season to win five games in a row, claiming 15 21st points that month. Rival teams slipped up allowing Ratherham to storm past them, and with Port Vale failing to win on the final day, they managed to climb into second and claim the runners-up spot behind Gillingham. As on April 27, 2013, Ratherham United sealed promotion from League 2 to League 1 with a 2 a Euro 0 victory over bottom of the table Aldershot Town. In the 2013-2014 League 1 playoff final, Ratherham beat Leighton Orient 4-3 on penalties after a 2-2 draw where they came back from 2-0 down. Ratherham gained a place in the playoffs after going through a 16-game unbeaten streak during the second half of the season after a start which saw inconsistency in their home form. During this unbeaten streak, notable wins included a 6-0 win over Notts County and a 3-0 win over promoted Brentford. Ratherham's playoff semi-finals were against Preston North End. The away leg ended in a 1-1 draw where Alex Revel's solo goal was cancelled out by a wonder strike from Joe Garner and goals from Lee Frecklington, Kyron Nagard and Wies Thomas in the second leg made sure that Ratherham reached the final despite going 1-0 down. Stadium The club's traditional home was Milmoor in Ratherham where the team played from 1907 to 2008. On one side of the ground is the site of the new main stand which remains unfinished. It was hoped that the 4,500 capacity stand which is single-tiered, all seated and covered, would be completed sometime during the 2006-07 season, but this had not come to fruition by the time the ground became disused in 2008. On the other side of the ground is the Milmu Lane stand, which has a mixture of covered and open seating. Roughly each section on this side is about a third of the length of the pitch. The covered seating in the middle of this stand looks quite distinctive, with several supporting pillars and an arched roof. Both ends are former terraces, with several supporting pillars and have now been made all seated. The larger of the two is the Tivoli end, which was used by home fans. It was noticeable that the pitch slopes up towards this end. The ground also benefits from a striking set of floodlights the pylons of which are some of the tallest in the country at approximately 124 feet high. Following the failure of the owners of the club and the owners of Milmu to reach a lease agreement the club left for the Don Valley Stadium in Sheffield in 2008. Whilst a new purpose-built community stadium was being built in Ratherham, the club relocated to the Don Valley Stadium and nearby Sheffield for four seasons from 2008 to Euro 09 to 2011 to Euro 12. In January 2010 the club announced that their new stadium, later named the New York Stadium, would be built on the former Guest and Crimes Foundry site in Ratherham Town Centre. 2. Preparation work on the site began in February 2010 to make way for the foundations to be put in place and for the old Guest and Crimes factory to be knocked down to make way for the stadium. Construction started in June 2011 and the first game played at the stadium was a pre-season match between Ratherham and Barnsley, held on July 21, 2012. The Millers won 2 a Euro 1. The first goal in the stadium was scored by Jacob Mellis of Barnsley, and David Noble scored Ratherham's first goal in their new home. 
the New York Stadium made its league debut on August 18, 2012, in which Rotherham beat Burton Albion 3-0-0, Daniel Nardiolo scoring the first competitive goal in the ground. Players, as of June 27, 2014. Current squad, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Notable former players, see also category, Ratherham United FC players. Staff, current team management, manager, Steve Evans, assistant manager, Paul Rayner, goalkeeping coach, Andy Dibble, fitness coach, Paul Warren, physiotherapist, Mark Stein, performance the analyst, Adam Hursley, academy manager, Kevin Gallen, development coach, Darren Patterson, hospitality, John Brecken, former managers, statistics, club honours, league, football league one, champions a Euro 1950-1951, 1980-1981, runners-up a Euro 2000-2001, playoff, winners, 2013-14, football league two, champions a Euro 1988-1989. Runners up a Euro 1991 1992. 1999 2000, 2012 2013. Third place promotion, 1974 1975. Cup, FA Cup, fifth round a Euro 1952 1953, 1967 1968. Football League Cup, runners up a Euro 1960 1961. Football League Trophy, winners a Euro 1995-1996 club records, record league victory, 8 a Euro 0 v Oldham at Milmu, Division 3 North, May 26, 1947, record cup victory, 6 a Euro 0, record defeat. 1 a Euro 11 v Bradford City, Division 3 North, August 25, 1928, record home attendance at Milmu. 25,170 versus Chef UTD, Football League Second Division, December 13, 1952, record home attendance at Don Valley Stadium, 7,082 versus Aldershot Town Football League Two Playoffs, record home attendance at the New York Stadium, 11,758 versus Sheffield United Football League One, record league points in 91, Division Two, 2000 to Euro 01. Record league goals, 114, Division 3. 1946 a Euro 47, record league goal scorer, Gladstone Guest, 130 league goals, between 1946 a Euro 1956, record cup goal scorer, highest league scorer in a season, most goals in one match, 5 by Jack Shaw vs Darlington, November 25, 1950, most capped player, Carriel Rnason. Record appearances, Danny Williams, 459 league matches, 621 total matches, youngest player, Kevin Alley, 16 years 71 days, May 15, 1984, record transfer fee, undisclosed for Johnson Clark Harris, record fee. Received, a £950,000 from Bristol City for Kieran Agard, record gate receipts. A £106,182 Southampton FA Cup third round, January 16, 2002, Board of Directors and Ownership. Chairman, Tony Stewart, Vice Chairman, Richard Stewart, Chief Executive, Paul Douglas, Operations Director, Julie Hunt, Head of Commercial, Mark Hitchens, Financial Director, Karen Thomas, Famous Fans. The Chuckle Brothers were appointed as Honorary Presidents of Rotherham United in 2007 in recognition of their contributions to the football club. Premier League and 2010 World Cup Final Referee Howard Webb is a Rotherham fan. Chris Wolstenham, who is bassist for popular British band Muse, is a Millers fan and has appeared on stage in a home shirt on occasion. Jamie Oliver adopted Rotherham as his second team during filming of his Ministry of Food series, where he appeared at a game in a Rotherham United shirt. After the game he cooked up some food for the fans outside the stadium. Sponsorship, both the home and away kits have different sponsors. The home kit sees a retained deal with local shopping center Parkgate. Parkgate Shopping Center is the leading sponsor in terms of appearances, 
having sponsored the club decades before. On the back, another retained deal has Perez a Euro, which is a local car dealership, have their name scribed across the back of the neck area. The away kit is sponsored by TGB Sheds. References External links Official website, past players a Euro biographies and appearance statistics, official site, New York Stadium progress photos, New York construction photos a Euro Miller's Mad, Ratherum United's playoff record.